what is up you guys to my 45 here and in this video we're going to be doing a little quick look and hands on on Microsoft's launcher for Android called Arrow Launcher and I'm going to be showing this to you guys here on my Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 and just to prove to you guys that this is the Galaxy, Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 I'm going to go ahead and go into my settings then to about tablet and as you guys can probably see here, my my device model is GTP3110. So yes, this is really a Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0. So guys, this is Microsoft's Aero Launcher, one of their most surprising releases for Android so far. That excluding the fact that they have win that they, ha they also have a Windows 10 ROM running on specific Xiaomi devices. Besides that, this is one of Microsoft's most surprising releases for Android. I can understand them releasing like productivity apps like their Office Suite, such as Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, but I don't know why they want to do something like this for Android. That confuses me a little bit, considering they have their own lineup of smartphones and they have their own oh, their own mobile OS, which is Windows 10 Mobile at the time of this video. But either way guys, since this is an Android app, I'm still going to be giving you guys a quick look at what, it's, what it looks like. So this is Air Launcher. Um, it, it sort of appeals to stock Android in some way. Like the fact that the app drawer is colored white and it has a hollow background to it. It does look sort of like stock Android, but not completely. So the way um, Microsoft... Um, the way Microsoft organizes this launcher is in different sections. One for apps, one to people, one for widgets, one for recent, one for recent which includes all of your apps and all of the photos you took recently and that's it really. And after that, um, what else? In the app drawer, it's separated into two sections, one for all your apps and one for all the widgets for your apps, just like so. And in the app section, um, everything is organized according to how you use them, how, how you use the app. By the first default on, on um, installing this app, you will be asked to set your five most used apps in general. And once you do that, it'll just add all these other apps automatically. And the more that you use this launcher and tap on, you know, all the apps that you have here, the more it'll learn from you and organize which apps you use first so you won't have a hard time finding them. And if you swipe up from the somewhat a bit above the app drawer, you'll get access to your quick toggles. You'll be able to edit the page, go into the settings for launcher, or even give feedback to Microsoft about the launcher itself. And as you guys can see, you can toggle on Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, your flashlight, auto rotation, airplane mode, your brightness, and you'll get to see some of your apps here at the bottom here, the ones that you might access the most. And then in people, you'll be able to access all your frequent contacts. I won't be able to do that here since this is a tablet. And in widgets, you'll be able to add your most recent widgets. You can add whatever widget you want. I just use this because this is one I use the most. And in recent, you'll be able to open all of your most recent apps and view all of your most recent photos. And if we go into settings, here at the bottom, you'll be able to access the settings for the launcher. So from quick access, you can check if there's any updates for the launcher, you can set this as your default launcher. You can choose which apps to be hidden inside. You can choose which apps can, should be hidden from the app drawer itself. And, um, and also you'll be able to use any third party icon pack you want, like Moonshine or whatever. I, I don't really use any because I'm not a big fan of icon packs, but if you want one, there for you and you can turn on this tap home to edit page pages so when you tap home it'll, you'll be able to edit whatever 
you want to edit on that page itself and you'll be able to set what is your default SMS app. I will be able to do that since again this is the tablet and you'll be able to rate the launcher itself, provide feedback to Microsoft about the launcher, help you can help them improve the launcher like so and you can also change the wallpaper and set it to whatever you want. You can even add your own wallpaper to you can even add your own wallpaper to set it as whatever you want it to be like if you have any photos on your tablet or your phone you'll be able to say just like so or you can use the ones that come with the launcher or download some that also comes with it and you can also choose to only download these images if you do choose to download them you can also choose to only download on Wi-Fi so it doesn't reach your data connection or whatever and you can also enable daily Bing wallpaper, which means every time, every day, a new wallpaper will be downloaded from Bing, which is Microsoft search engine. It will be downloaded from Bing, and they'll and they'll add your wallpaper for you every day. Other than that, uh, you can also tap here to go into your system settings right away, for the settings of your Android device itself. And from there, guys. That's pretty much it. That's how this launcher is basically defined. And the more that you use it, the more that you also, the more that you use it, the more you interact with the launcher itself. The more it'll learn from you. It'll adjust to you. So far in my use, it has adjusted to me quite a bit, but not as much. Maybe if I use it longer, it might. But other than that, guys, it should be able to learn from you very well. And this three dot menu should be able to let you edit your pages and go into your system settings like usual any day no it will go into your um uh, the settings for launcher so but uh that's it really guys there's not much going on here i'm surprised that again i am surprised that microsoft did release this launcher for android considering them having you know their own mobile operating system and them being somewhat Applying to Android, I guess, in, in some way. But either way, guys, this launcher does seem to be very fast. It works well on this tablet, even though it's not compatible. So if you guys want to get this launcher for your tablet as well, that link is in the video description below. And uh, either way, guys, that is pretty much it. That is my quick look and my hands-on on Microsoft Arrow Launcher for, on the Galaxy Tab 2. 7.0 now as always guys feel free to give this video a thumbs up that definitely helps me out leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys want to see next and while you're at it feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel for more content like this don't forget to follow me on all my social media those links are in the video description below once again thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next video this is demisa 45 signing off